This moist, dark chocolate cake with spicy undertones from the Guinness Stout is perfect for St. Patrick's Day. The fluffy cream cheese icing resembles the foam on a pint of Guinness. To make this Guinness chocolate cake, you'll need two sticks of melted butter, one 12 ounce bottle of Guinness Stout, three quarters of a cup of unsweetened cocoa powder, two cups of sugar, two thirds of a cup of sour cream, two large eggs, one tablespoon of vanilla extract, two and a quarter cups of flour, one tablespoon of baking soda, and one quarter of a teaspoon of salt. You'll also need a tube can that you generously grease with oil, and don't forget to do the center as well. And using a piece of parchment paper that you've cut and greased, lay your parchment paper into the can. Now we'll just put this aside. You want to start by preheating your oven to 350 degrees. Take your two sticks of melted butter and add to the large mixing bowl. Your next step is to sift in your cocoa. Next we're going to add our two cups of sugar. And using a whisk, mix the sugar and the cocoa with the butter. Oh, does this ever smell good? And now, pour in your 12 ounces of Guinness Stout. After you've added your Guinness, mix thoroughly. So you put your chocolate mixture aside, two eggs in another small bowl, add your vanilla, and mix well, using a whisk. And now with skin, your two-thirds of a cup of sour cream. And whisk until it's well combined. While gently whisking and stirring your chocolate mixture, slowly add your egg and sour cream mixture. I've combined our salt and baking soda into the flour and mixed well, and now I'm just sifting the flour mixture into our beer. Once this is all incorporated, it's just simply a matter of pouring it into our two pans, into our preheated 350 degree oven for 45 to 50 minutes. I'm just pouring our batter into our tube pan. For the icing, I'm beating our eight ounces of cream cheese with our vanilla and beating it until it's smooth. Then I'll add our two cups of powdered sugar. You can see that as I've added the powdered sugar, the cream cheese mixture has started to become smooth and creamy. We've added about half, and now I'll have to add the remaining powdered sugar. Next, in a clean bowl, add your three quarters of a cup of heavy whipping cream. cream has formed beautiful ridges and stiff peaks. Once your cream cheese and powdered sugar have blended together, now it's just simply a matter of adding your whipped cream, and then we'll beat this all together on low until it's combined. Your cake needs to cool in the pan, and I left mine overnight. Then I turned it out onto a plate, and now I'm gently peeling off the parchment layer, which will come off very easily. I'm taking our beautiful cream cheese icing, which has been in the refrigerator overnight, and just piling it on the cake. This icing needs to be high, because remember, it's meant to resemble the foam on a pint of Guinness. Once you have your icing piled onto your cake, just Spread it around, but only on the top. And that's all there is to making this beautiful Guinness chocolate cake. The Guinness Brewery was founded in Dublin in 1759. This chocolate cake is great anytime, 
but especially festive for St. Patrick's Day when we celebrate all things Irish. Is there anything more Irish than Guinness Stout? <laughs>